Hi everyone, it's me. In today's video, I'm going to show you what my regular workout schedule looks like. So usually on this channel, I show you a bunch of different workouts, I compare them, I rate them, I do different fitness challenges, but I have never shown you what my regular workout schedule would look like if I'm not doing any of these types of challenges. And I have noticed that some of you have been getting curious about this in the comment section. And to be quite honest with you, I haven't been doing my own like regular workout schedule in a while, just because I'm always filming for YouTube. Every time I'm working out, I'm doing some sort of YouTube video. So it's been a while since I've actually just like worked out for myself and not for YouTube. But with that being said, this week I am dedicating all of my workouts to just be workouts that I want to do. These are the workouts I would just choose for myself. Basically, my workout schedule is 30 minutes a day. Some days might be more intense, like a full 30 minute hit. Some days might be like 30 minute dance party. Some days might be 30 minutes of yoga. I just find that 30 minutes is just like the best for me. And yeah, let's just get into it. Okay. So the first day of my chosen workout. So yesterday I actually just finished Caroline Gervin's Epic Heat week two. So my arms and upper body right now are a little, little bit sore. So I'm going to go back to my roots today and I'm going to have a dance day. <laughs> so I've chosen two workouts to do today. The first one is a Mad Fit 90s dance party. So that's about 15 minutes long. And then the second one is also from Mad Fit, but it's her Evermore dance sculpt. So this one is less cardio-y and more like controlled slow movements. And that video is also 15 minutes long. So we'll have a total of 30 minutes between the two of those. And then at the end, I'm going to do five minutes of handstand training just because I've been doing that every single day for the past month and that'll be it for today. Okay, that dance party workout is so much fun. It's just like the best songs of the 90s you could ever ask for. <laughs> if you've never done a Mad Fit dance party workout, you should. It's all follow along, non-stop moving, non-stop dancing. So yeah, to give you the stats for that one, so it's roughly 15 minutes long. The calories burned on that one is 88. For the intensity rating on this one, I would give it an eight. It's not so intense, but like don't underestimate it. You will break a sweat, especially if you like the songs and you like dancing. I always say this, but I feel like with dance party workouts the song choice really matters a lot because like if you really like the song you're gonna really get into it and you're gonna burn more calories and then for fun factor on that one I'm gonna give it a nine and now for the dance sculpt It just feels so so freaking good every single time. I swear I have done this Evermore dance sculpt workout so many times I have memorized the entire thing. Like I don't even have to look at her. I could just play the songs and do it myself, I swear. So that one was again roughly 15 minutes long. I think it was slightly shorter, maybe closer to 14 minutes. It followed the same structure as the dance party workout. It was all follow along, no breaks or anything. You just go with her, go with the flow. It's definitely more slow, controlled movements. And it's just like feel good, you know? It's just like pure lyrical. Calories on this one is 76. Intensity, I'm also going to give this one an eight. Again, it's not something that's going to kill your your body but like also don't underestimate it because I feel like a lot of these dance sculpt type moves really work muscles that you normally wouldn't work doing conventional gym exercises or even conventional body weight exercises like you just reach different muscles so if you've never done something like this you might end up feeling a little sore the next day so don't underestimate it but it's not like a Caroline Gervin dumbbell hit calisthenics crazy blaze workout <laughs> and then for fun factor on this one I'm gonna give it a 10 this is honestly like 
my favorite, favorite, favorite video on Madfit's channel. Like, I want her to just like make more of these just for me. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for today. So if you want the total calories for the entire 30 minutes-ish of workout today, the total would be around 165. I'm going to end today with my five minutes of handstands and then I will see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, I have decided today is going to be a core kind of day and it's also going to be a Pam day. <laughs> so I actually haven't done a Pamela Rife workout video in a couple weeks just because of different YouTube challenges I was doing and I miss them and I want to get back to them. So today I'm going to start off with her 12 minute happy cardio. I love this one. Like I've said this before, but this one is definitely my favorite dance party type video on her channel. So yeah, I'm gonna use that one to kind of like warm myself up, get my heart pumping today. And then after that, I'm going to do her 10 minute abs with weights video. I have never actually tried this one because I didn't have dumbbells before, but just from past experience, I know that like every single one of her ab workouts is super, super effective. She has like core of steel. So yeah, I'm gonna give that one a try today. And then after all of that I'm going to do my usual five minutes of handstands so in total that would add up to be around 27 minutes of workout today so that's the plan I am sweating again. Okay, so the 12 minute happy cardio I actually have talked about before. I did this workout in my I tried my subscriber favorites video. So check that video if you want more like detail on this workout. But it's basically just like cardio to the music with like a little bit of dancing in it. Last time I'm pretty sure I burned around 65 calories doing it and today I burned 75. So clearly like either I was working harder today or I'm a little out of cardio shape. I don't know which one. For ratings on this one, again, and I elaborate more on this in my other video, but for intensity, this one's an eight, and then fun factor, 9.5. I just really think it's a lot of fun. And now let's move on to core. Okay, so that core workout was 10 minutes long and the calories burned is 35, although my amount of sweat says differently. Definitely really, really felt the core burn there. I don't think I've had like a dedicated core day or done like a core workout in a very long time, which is weird because core is actually my favorite thing to train. I've just been doing too many different like YouTube challenges. So it feels good to get like a good core session in and Pam always kills the core. So for intensity, I would give this one a 9.5. So this one was called Called abs with weights but if you don't have weights honestly you could do every single one of these exercises without weights and you would still get a dang good core workout we also didn't really use the weights for all the exercises I feel like it was like either half the exercises or maybe even less than half actually used the weights so yeah if you don't have weights this workout is definitely friendly for body weight as well and for fun factor on this one I'm going to give it an 8.5 I think it was a good way to get me back into that core and yeah that's it for those workouts today so if you add up the calories, that's like 110 calories for today. And now I'm just going to do my five minutes of handstands to end my workout. And I'll see you tomorrow and see what we have in store. Hello, you guys. Today we are slowing it down a little bit and we are going to do a 30-minute Pilates workout today. So the one I'm doing today is from the channel Move with Nicole. This is one of her newer workouts, so I haven't tried this one before. But I do just love her Pilates flows and how she creates her videos. So I'm going to give this one a try today. So she says this one is like intermediate level. It focuses on the full body and that's basically all I know about it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give it a try.
Don't underestimate Pilates, you guys. It might be slower than your usual workout, but that doesn't mean it's easier. In fact, it might even mean it's harder. <laughs> I really enjoyed that one. It was a good balance between like resistance, strength training, and there was also a little bit of stretching in there, which always feels good. So it was 30 minutes long, and there's definitely like a larger emphasis on core and booty. For calories burned in this Pilates workout, it was 105. And then for my ratings, for intensity, I'm going to give this one an 8. 8.5. I think it was exactly what I needed today. And then for fun factor, I'm gonna give this one a 9. I just love how Nicole makes her videos. They're always so like soothing, but you also like work really hard at the same time. And like the sequence and flow of everything. She just makes everything so like beautiful. <laughs> That's it for today. I'm going to end my workout now with my usual five minutes of handstands and then I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, today is kickboxing day. So I will be doing a 30 minute cardio kickbox video from Heather Robertson. Heather's channel is another one that I just absolutely love. She is literally good at everything, I think. Like she's good with HIIT workouts, good with kickbox, good with strength workouts, and also even really good at stretching videos. Somehow she just does it all. <laughs> the only thing I have still yet to see from her channel is a dance party workout. So I have done kickboxing from her channel before. I haven't done this specific video because again, this one is like one of her newest uploads, but just from knowing what her workouts are like from the past, I know this one's gonna be a good one. Kickboxing complete. So this workout was actually 27 minutes long. So it was three minutes under and total calories is 163 for this one. This was exactly what I wanted today. Just a good cardio kickbox. Get my heart rate nice and high. To talk to this one, it was very, very similar to the other cardio kickbox I tried from Heather. Basically the same structure, but the exercises were like slightly different. So we started off with a warm up, and then we got into the bulk of the workout, which was a 40 seconds active and then 10 second breaks in between each. So we did one whole like round of exercises and then we repeated that whole chunk of exercises a second time and then she ended it off with a cool down. Yeah, that is something I really appreciate about Heather's workouts. Same with like Caroline Gervin and Sydney Cummings. They always include a proper warm up and a cool down in their exercise videos. So you don't have to do like a separate warm up video and then a separate cool down video. Obviously you still can if you want a longer warm up or a longer cool down, but I just, I like how it's all like neatly packaged like that. For intensity on this one, I'm going to give it a 9. Obviously my heart rate went up super high so I think it did the trick. It also had a little bit of core work in there as well as some lower body. Not too much but there was a little bit in there. And then for fun factor, I'm going to give this one an 8. I think it was a solid workout. The repeat thing isn't my favorite as you know but at least it was only one repeat. That is it for today. So that is today's workout. I'm going to do my usual 5 minutes of handstands as well and then I'll let you know what we have in store for tomorrow. Okay, you guys, it is Sunday today, so Sundays are usually my yoga days. What I usually do is I actually follow a live Zoom class from one of the like local yoga studios here, but unfortunately, I'm so sad my instructor isn't teaching his usual class today, but what I'm going to do instead is I have an app called Down Dog. It's pretty cool. I did have to pay for it. You basically put in all your preferences. There's like a lot of different preferences you can put in, like what you want to focus on, the length of the practice, tons of stuff you can customize, and then it uses some like artificial intelligence algorithm thing to like create a yoga flow for you, and there's a whole video and voiceover and everything. But yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing instead.
Okay, so I'm not sure what happened. Usually that app is better than how it treated me today, but for some reason it kept like repeating the exact same poses, the same sequences, the same flows, like I don't know what was going on. And then also on top of that, like I mentioned that there's a voiceover that gets generated. And for some reason, the voiceover was like glitching and popping and stuff. And it kept getting worse until like a certain point I could like barely even understand her. So that was weird. <laughs> Around like 30 to 40 minutes, I just got sick of it. And I just turned the voice off of her and then I just did my own thing. So I did end up doing around one hour of yoga today. The calories burned was 180. I guess for like overall intensity that I did today, I'd probably say around an eight. When I do the live Zoom class with my actual instructor, it's definitely a lot better, definitely harder, and just definitely more fun as well. <laughs> and then for fun factor today, just because like the app was being really dumb today, I'm gonna say a seven. It sucks because I do really love yoga and I wanted to have a good yoga flow today, but just what can you do? Okay, so since this is a video dedicated to showing you my like regular workout routine, I also want to show you something that I've been doing after my workouts this past week. So I feel like most people after they work out take things like protein shakes and that kind of stuff. I don't really do that, but I have been taking a, another kind of a shake this past week, and that is a Greens Superfood Shake. This Greens Superfood Powder is from Timi, who I want to thank right now because they are the sponsor of this video. Yeah, I have been taking this basically every single day this past week after my workouts. I find it really just makes me feel good, healthy, energized, like bright feeling. <laughs> so the purpose of this Greens Powder is to help you increase the amount of veggies and greens you're getting throughout your day. The three main ingredients in here are matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. And in total, there are 16 superfood ingredients in here. And the taste of it, there is matcha in there. And if you know me, you know I love matcha. And the greens with it, it kind of tastes like grass, <laughs> to be honest. But I kind of like really like that grass taste. I don't know, if you like matcha and you know that like kind of grassy taste, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I don't take it as like a meal replacement or anything and I wouldn't recommend doing that. Or if you're using this as your sole method of getting greens in throughout your day. But it's definitely a good supplementary thing to have on top of a healthy diet. And I personally just love drinking this stuff after a workout because it really is refreshing. That like grassy clean taste. I don't know. It's just really refreshing to me. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how I make it. It's so easy and fast. There are different ways you can use this. You can just put them into a simple shake with water. You can blend them into smoothies with a lot of different stuff, but I honestly just like it with water. I'm going to go ahead and make some of this now. Okay, so I have my shaker bottle here. Any shaker bottle will work. I have my greens powder open. This is what it looks like inside, and it comes with a handy scoop, so you can just Apparently my cats like greens powder too. So yeah, I just take one scoop of this, throw it into my shaker bottle. Now I'm just going to fill this up with some cold water, put the lid back on, and then I just give her a good shake right in this bottle. And there you have it. It's nice and blended up in there. I also love like when you shake things like these, it creates like a natural foamy layer and it just makes it like foamy and thick and delicious. Mmm, it's actually so refreshing. So yeah, if you want to try some of this Greens Superfood Powder from Teamy, they did give me a discount code that you can use. I will pop it up on the screen right now. I'll also put the link to this product in the video description below, as well as the discount code down there, so you can easily find it. So yeah, go check that out, and thank you, Teamy, again for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and finish drinking this now. <laughs> Bye! Okay, you guys, it is Monday today, so we are doing a big workout today. I will be doing a dumbbell hit by Caroline Gervin, so this is around 30 minutes long. I know it's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Let's go. is always so tough, but that was such a good workout. I really, really like that style of hers. All of her dumbbell hit workouts, I don't know what it is about it. Sometimes you wanna do hit, but you don't wanna like 
bounce around and jump that much. It was very similar to the other dumbbell hits I've tried. The structure was 45 seconds on with 15 second breaks in between each, roughly 30 minutes long. My Apple Watch says 32 minutes and 22 seconds, and I burned 177 calories in that. So really, really dang good. This one is just such a good full body workout. I find a lot of the time with these like online YouTube full body workouts, a lot of them just target like core, legs, and booty. But what I like about Caroline's workouts is that she also really emphasizes upper body strength as well. So it really is more truly full body. For my ratings on this one, intensity, I'm gonna say 10. For fun on this one, I'm going to say 8.5. There is a lot of leg work, but there's also work in all other parts of the body as well, not just legs. So I don't mind it as much. That's about it for today, I think. I will see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is the final day of the week and I think I'm going to take this last day as a rest day. I'm not actually feeling too sore after Caroline's workout yesterday. I'm just feeling kind of like good. I still feel that good pump, but I haven't really taken a full rest day yet this week. I know I did the yoga a couple of days ago, but really like to me, the way I do yoga, I don't see yoga as a rest day really because I do work my muscles pretty hard during yoga. So yeah, I'm going to take today as a complete rest day and then I'll get back to it tomorrow. But yeah, that completes this entire week of workouts. I'll put the stats for all the like overall complete days on screen now so you can get a general picture of like how many calories I've burned in workouts this week, what the intensity was and the fun, etc. If I were to recommend any workouts from this week, I would recommend them all. <laughs> I mean, the entire purpose of this video was to show you the workouts that I do, the ones that I like to do. So obviously I liked everything this week. And yeah, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed this one, please give me a like, comment down below what you'd like to see from me next. Or if you don't know what to comment down below, just give me a bunch of heart emojis. <laughs> I would really appreciate those as well. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.